Hi friends, this is Sarah and I'm here today to remind you of one of the report functions located within Fallout Destiny that I find to be really useful. It's easy to get busy and forget to run it, but let me walk you through the steps and tell you why I find it to be so valuable. Okay, so I'm in Fallout Destiny and I go under Reports, Library Reports, and then at the bottom you will see Search Statistics. I'm going to click there and you can search for any searches without results during any time period you want. I'm going to do this past school year. Now you run the report and this is where I find it to be so useful. So I work with teenagers so of course there's going to be something silly like the Kama Sutra and I do have Medea and the Oresteia but those are spelled incorrectly. But the one that I find the most interesting is number one, where they wrote Deep Dark. Now, Deep Dark is not a book, but I spent a lot of time this year promoting a book called Dark Deep. And so now they're confused, thinking that I don't own the book that I was telling them about. But we can go into the Dark Deep record and add the words Deep Dark so it shows up in the search results when the students type in the wrong thing. There are several ways to do this, and I decided to go into the series and notes area and just add deep dark as a content note. So adding this as a content note is probably not the um, cataloging 101 way to do it, but it is easy and effective. And I really just want them to be able to go back and go to the catalog and search for the terms backward and still find the right result. And so my way is quick and easy and it does get the um, get the result that we are looking for. So this happened uh, a couple of years ago where I realized that the students didn't think I owned the book 13 Reasons Why and the show had just come out and it was really popular and I didn't realize until after the school year ended that they didn't think that I owned it and it was for such a simple reason they were typing in the numbers 1, 3, and then reasons why. But the cataloging record, nowhere in it, had the number 13. It only had the word 13. And so I had to just go into the record and add an alternate title with 1, 3, reasons why, and then the problem was fixed. But I don't know how many students ended up not getting the book that they wanted because they didn't know I had it. So this is one of the reasons that I think it is so important to check these reports and use the information um, to not only buy the books that your students are asking for that you don't already own, but also make sure that the students are finding the books that you do own that they're looking for. Because sometimes our cataloging doesn't match up with what words they are using to search. Well, I hope that was useful. I hope you'll run this report and I hope that it helps you. Thanks.